Hello my friends, today is number three. Our topic is treating your humiliation. My friends, is there any time you could not sleep but keep on crying whole night due to your spouse's humiliating words, due to your work office's verbal abuse, due to your children's attitude, and due to your medical report that you have received? Or is there any time you felt you were covered, fearful, weak, and fragile due to constant oppression and opposition by someone who you trusted and loved the most? Or are you thinking to give up your relationship, your job, your faith, and your destiny just because someone in your family embarrassed you and humiliated you? Our devotion comes to us from Matthew chapter 5, verses 13 and 14. Blessed are you when they revile and persecute you and say all kinds of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. My brothers and sisters, there is no victorious person without humiliation. There is no strong person without a scar. And also, there is no experienced person without fall. What about your life today? Are you experienced? Are you strong? Are you successful person? The question for today is, how will you treat your humiliation? Bible motivates you with three passages. Number one, Jeremiah chapter 8 verse 4. Treat humiliation as teachers. My friends, you can forgive the humiliators, but never ever forget the humiliation because they are your best teachers to protect you for further hurt and humiliation. Never live your life crying because of the humiliation. Thank God for the humiliation and stand up as you have gained a big lesson for the rest of the life so that nobody can hurt you, nobody can embarrass you, and nobody can humiliate you, humiliate you in front of the people. Just treat your past bitterness and present humiliation as your guide. You are now very strong and brave to bear any kinds of challenges because of the scars or your sword to tackle your difficulties and damages. Number two, Deuteronomy chapter 8 verses 2 and 3. Treat your humiliation as God's gift. My friends, if there was no humiliation, you wouldn't know your strength and weakness. If there was no hurt, you wouldn't know who is your friends and the value of your relationship. You know your self-respect just because of your humiliation. You know now how to value your self-esteem just because of your humiliation. Thank God for your humiliation because now you know who you are. Don't curse God for your humiliation. Don't curse yourself because of the embarrassment. Your humiliation exposed your way and plans. Your eyes are open to see who is your enemy and friends, who is your true lover and fake lovers just because of your humiliation. Don't bow down before others. Just walk just because of your strength, just because of your humiliation. From today, just lift your head up on high and walk as you have discovered who you are. Number three, Isaiah 61 verse seven, treat your humiliation, your chisel. My friends, you thought you were weak, incapable and shy, but your humiliation reshaped you, redesigned you, and manufactured you to face any rejection, any disappointments, 
any dejections because of your humiliation use your chisel to chip you out or reshape you redesign you as a powerful person don't give up don't forsake yourself don't feel you are a failure don't feel everything is over and don't feel you are broken today is your turning point today is your new day to start your new experiences with strength and the power here is the hope for you from isaiah 54 verse 4 don't fear for you will not be ashamed neither be disgraced for you will not be put to shame for you will forget the shame of your youth and will not remember the reproach of your widowhood anymore let's pray heavenly god there is somebody here today not happy at home in workplace and so also when they walk in the street because of the past humiliation because of the embarrassment that they faced in the public please dear lord encourage them motivate them so that they will just dust it out and walk keeping keeping their head up high in your name thank you so much for strengthening them in jesus name we pray amen god bless you